the law of attraction real? Is your mother real? <laughs> the answer is yes. And I've seen it play out in a million different ways in my life over the last three and a half years. But basically, it boils down to this. If you put good stuff out, good stuff will come back. And in my personal uh, experience, it comes back tenfold, twentyfold. It's not the like woo woo, like mysterical, like all of a sudden there's gonna be fog that comes up behind me and I have a glass ball that I'm looking through. It's just having the right intent, being a good person and knowing that good things will happen because of it. How do you use the law of attraction in your life and do you meditate? Um, I really don't meditate. Um, on like a, on a regular basis but law of attraction to me it's not necessarily like you know i woke up this morning and i did a 10 minute visualization of what i want but i think it's throughout the day just always speaking like into existence like what i want to have happen and i think the reverse of that or the flip side of that is even more important which is you know, leaving the house saying like, oh, I'm always late. Well, then of course you're going to hit traffic. And of course something's going to happen where you're, where you're going to be late. Or, or, you know, when you get up in the morning, you're like, oh, today's going to be the, just the most chaotic day. Well, it's like, oh, well, no crap. Like you, you just like brought that into your life. Um, and so it's really auditing that stuff and making sure that you're not speaking, you know, honoring your word and uh, that you're not speaking that stuff into fruition. But then, you know, playing offense and, and telling yourself like, man, this meeting is going to go incredible. This, this Q and A that we're about to do is going to be awesome. And just like, I think it's, it's this balance between being, you know, aggressively optimistic, um, and just always looking at the bright side of situations and thinking about what you want, like what you want the end result to be, just always having that in the forefront of your mind um, is, is huge. But then there's some practical things, like I do a vision board uh, each year, and you know it's awesome when you, know, you have something happen in your life where you can cross those things off. Like I just got a car yesterday that's been on my vision board for like seven years. Um, which is it's a really cool thing for me. Um, the car I had a couple of years ago, when I first started this career, again, when I was flat broke, I had taken a screenshot of this, the inside of this car that I really, really, really wanted. And a year and a half later, I was in my car and I was just like scrolling through my old photos on my phone. And all of a sudden I get to this screenshot and I'm like, I'm in this car. Like it was the exact same interior, the exact same year, make, model. Um, when that stuff happens, it's super, super empowering. Um, and it's just like this, this feeling of like, man, like I, I accomplished this. Like I wanted it, I worked for it, I got it. Um, so some things like that, you know, I think put the, the, like puts the law of attraction in motion. When you, when you start actually thinking about like what are the things you want in your life what are the things that you want in the next five years what are the things that you want to have happen i've got podcast guests pictures on my vision board and you know, i think three or four of them i've crossed off now there's others that will cross off eventually um and so i think stuff like that that's you know i used to put my vision board as my wallpaper on my phone on my iphone so every time i pick up my phone i would see it all the time it's got Pictures of things, pictures of people, phrases, um, certain goals, you know, written out on it. And uh, that stuff's powerful just to always have in the back of your mind. You think it doesn't make a big deal or it doesn't make a big difference. But over time, that stuff is um, it's huge. It's all, it's all in your mentality.